Sounds good. Well, Walker, we have to address this. How was it eating the spiciest salsa at the Ag Expo in our 630 show? You know, I have a lot of different emotions that I think of now that I start, uh, <laughs> now that you bring that up, I'm getting a little emotional almost because it was quite the experience, but uh, nonetheless, here is the recap for in case you missed it. Well, folks, meteorologist Walker Stone back live at the Ike Hamilton Expo Center for the Ag Expo. And for those of you wondering where I am, well, currently I'm at one of my favorite booths. Last year, I actually ate some really hot, spicy salsas and sauces. So I'm going to let my uh, good friend introduce himself here. Hi, I'm John Stack from Fuego Dulce Sauces and Bottling Company out of Louisiana. And uh, so what I'm going to try to do is try some of these spicy sauces, the spiciest one he's got. And then I'm going to try to do the weather forecast. So I'm one is my triple X Reaper sauce. It's three right. times as hot as the regular Reaper sauce. The second one is my 10X Reaper sauce. It is 10 times as hot as the regular Reaper sauce. I think I he said uh, 10 times. 10 times as hot. And if it's around lucky. So let's go ahead and jump into the first one. All right. All right. So you can kind of see what I got going on here. A little bit of the salsa. Get a little bit too close to the camera. Good flavor. Wow. Okay, the spice just hits you immediately. <laughs> Left half of my mouth is on fire. I'm just taking some breaths here. All right. That's good. Now I gotta go to the second one. That's all right. I'm not here to just do one. We're here to do two. I'm not even sure how much time we have left. Time enough to see you enjoy the sweet flavors of Fuego Dulce. Very sweet. He's right. And very hot. <laughs> Whoa. Wow. <laughs> we just bumped up. It's level two. But now, now comes the fun part. Thank you so much. Great flavor. I have a little bit of uh, indigestion, maybe. All right. Let's go ahead and jump into the forecast. I promise you that uh, we are complete polar opposites of what's going on outside and currently in my mouth. <laughs> Every passing word out of my mouth, my mouth continues to get worse. <laughs> Night, folks, so you're going to need a jacket. I'm going to be shedding my jacket pretty soon here. But if I'm being completely honest... <laughs> oh, God. I'm coughing. I don't know if we want to pan back to me really quickly. Oh, goodness gracious. Sorry, we have to take a break from the weather forecast because my mouth's on fire. Walker, thank you for always being such a good sport. Yes. Thank you, absolutely. So really quickly, low tonight. The rainfall is going to hold off. I think I'm shedding a tear. But oh my goodness, Maya, please take it from me. Back to you. <laughs> oh man, Walker, I am dying. You are a trooper. That was good TV right there. But I'm glad uh, you could taste it all for all of us. Maybe our viewers want to come challenge you next year, tomorrow. Mm -hmm. This is going to be a full stop. No challenges. No, no challenges. challenges. <laughs> tomorrow you don't want to no, do tomorrow morning. No, no challenges morning, tomorrow. I'll be there tomorrow. You'll be there tomorrow at night. We both will, yes. So we have plenty of time. We have plenty of time. So I'm I, not trying it. People are probably wondering what happened after the fact. I yes. got a water from them, so I'm drinking the water just casually. It's fine. I start running low, but I know I need milk. I know that they have yes. milk at the Agus boat, which they do. If you walk in the front door all the way to the right, just in case you might need it. But uh, obviously I found that milk and chugged it. I actually got some on myself, but you <laughs> can't, can't really tell. see it on my suit, so that's a good thing or else I have to go change. But nonetheless, once it took about 30 to 45 minutes for me to feel semi-normal. And by semi-normal, I'm still you know, trying to fan my face, <laughs> still having drips of sweat of down sweat. my face too. But, and uh, another note that I want to say, at one point I went to go sit down and literally I started crying just because like, <laughs> I, I wasn't upset, but just tears coming out of my eyes. So. Oh man, oh and man, it, that recap just cracked me up. Yeah. And I have to mention this, but you were sitting you um, in your chair, you're like, I can't stand up. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's our newscast for tonight. We'll see you back here on Monday.